Hi and welcome back. Here we're going to have a look at the difference between velocity and MIDI region colours and what they're used for. Now, so as you can see, I've got two uh, channels set up here in different colours. So what I'll show what I do is if I click on this one, for example, and uh, you can see that our MIDI is in green, it's the same as the region. Now, the way that to get the velocity colours back is to go to velocity colours, right? As you can see, there's a slight difference in velocity and it gives you a different color all the way down to a bluey color down there and all the way up is a red color. So you can see the difference in the velocity here. Now that's, that's useful for when you're editing velocity, uh, but also you might want it to be in region colors and have the velocity here and just do the actual measurements of the velocity without seeing the colors because if you're working say on two different tracks at the same time so if I select two tracks you'll see that you can see all the uh, the MIDI notes in the respective region colors now then you can then edit each note quite easily you know if you want to line stuff up between the two different channels you can do that quite easily and then if I select the third one, like the bass, for example, um, as well, then you can see I've got the bass in there. I've got the, uh, the piano and the violins in there. So that's really useful for editing. Uh, and then, you know, if you've got all of these selected at the same time, for example, let's just come out of there, take off the automation window. If I go back and select velocity notes, then it's a disaster. You can't tell what's what. So that is really, really practical if you want to edit different notes all at the same time, you know, like lining up bases with chords and stuff like that. That's really useful. That's what I use region colors and velocity colors for. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.